Sign up for a Practice Models Premium account, and it, it really does help us kind of keep these tournaments running. Too Tall Toby's Practice Models is one of the sponsors of the tournament here today. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and we really appreciate their support. All right, guys. Well, let's get into it here. Congratulations to Ricardo. We're going to look forward to seeing him next week in the championship match. We're going to look forward to seeing Matab competing once again in the third, fourth place match. And with that, we are going to take a look at our now semifinal matchup here between Dom and Ase. So we got Dom here. He had a competition against Gray and he was able to defeat Gray, move into the semifinals. And we have Ate, who last week went up against Scott Makes a Thing. Now it's gonna be Dom and Ate. Both these guys are heavy in the world of manufacturing. Oh, yeah. And we have, we've not yet seen the sheet metal model. Ooh, it might come so up. It might, it come, might up. come up in this matchup. Connor, maybe you could tell us just a little bit more about our competitors. Of course. So uh, on the left, you have Dom uh, from America and, or the United States, and he's using SolidWorks. And he started using SolidWorks in 2019. And then we have Atse, which that is Macedonia, right? Yep. Uh, and he did the Tutel Toby uh, CSWP prep and passed on the first try. So that's pretty impressive. Nice. Former army dude. Uh, thank you. And then this is his second Tutel Toby, Tutel Toby tournament. So we are glad to see you here again. And he is using SolidWorks as well. So this is going to be a SolidWorks versus SolidWorks uh, match. Oh man, this is going to be exciting. Yeah. Well, guys, we had a lot of excitement there in the first round, in the first match between uh, Matab and Ricardo Jean. And now we get to move on to Dom and I'd say they've both been in tournaments before. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is, I think, is going to be a really exciting one and, and possibly a sheet metal manufactured part. I don't yeah. know. No spoilers. But here we go, guys. This next CAD vs. CAD battle in our semifinals of the 2025 Spring Open Tournament between Dom from the United States using SolidWorks and Atse from Macedonia using SolidWorks begins in three, three two, two, one, one go. go. What is the mass of this part in XX.XX grams? Tolerance is plus or minus 0.02 grams. This part is a toy ball for structure, for kids to build up a structure. Both of our runners have already grabbed a screen capture, so let's jump in and take a look at the action. Now, upon first glance, this part looks like it's gonna be pretty simple to model. I don't think that they're necessarily gonna get stuck in the methodology of how to model this. I think what's gonna be interesting is the actual tactic, because when you've got a ball with a bunch of holes in it and those holes aren't going to you know they're they're defined as going to a certain depth uh patterning becomes a little bit interesting yeah so this is a pretty cool model here uh, you can see that it's got these holes they're basically patterned you know in in a, a circle along the three axes without having the uh that extra hole there uh, at that one quadrant point you can see it really clearly in the isometric view so as expected we see dom started on the left there with a dome with a sphere so you draw what looks like the letter d and then you revolve it that gives you a sphere we see on the right though that atze has decided to draw half of the model so this is going to be interesting. This is what I was really interested in seeing here. And we see that uh, Dom has decided to do that cut extrude to kind of get that hole in place. And now he's jumping into a chamfer command here using the chamfer command. So we'll see how that works out for him. Okay. And so Dom has gotten in here now. Looks like he is... Uh, uh, creating maybe maybe he abandoned that he started doing that chamfer he abandoned it we see Atze on the left here looks like he's creating the circle for that hole and now he's going to create that using the offset option in the cut extrude command so he's going to offset it from the center using the offset distance that's shown in the section view of that drawing so that's it i think that's a solid approach um that you know definitely approved and then we see dom did get in there and do this with a chamfer so now he's got the hole with the chamfer on there we see Atze going in and doing the same thing here and so um um, it's going to be now a matter of who's able to pattern this thing successfully. So Dom starting out with his first pattern and boom, running into an Ooh. error. Oh, no. So Dom's going to have to look at that that uh, pattern and see why he's getting that error. And we see Atze. I love the fact that these two runners who both have a lot of experience in the real world are getting this model. Uh, so it looks like Dom was able to resolve that error with his pattern. Very nice. Uh, we see Atze now on the right doing his first pattern. Uh, this is going to be a matter of creating patterns of this model. So we see that Dom is now attempting to pattern it in the, the, uh, the second instance of the pattern. Okay, looks like he was able to get that. Now, what's he going to do with this third instance? That's going to be the question. Yeah. 
So starting out by creating an axis here so that he's got something to pattern around. Looks like Atze has got a, a pretty good lock on this thing. I think these oh, answers yeah. are going to be coming in really, really quickly here. So we see Dom getting in there, trying to pattern this in the next direction, almost like a pattern of a pattern, running into another error. This is uh, very similar to what I ran into when I was in uh, when I was doing this thing as an audit. Uh, and it looks like Atze is running into or, or creating some type of additional reference geometry here. Okay, creating an axis there. Interesting, interesting. This is going to be close. Yep, this is going to get very close here. So Dom running into an issue. Uh, this is this is one of these spots where I, as the co commentator, have to kind of sit back and not give away too much. Yeah. Because um, I know that, you know, they can hear me. And I know that sometimes if I talk about what the other person's doing, it, it, I don't feel like I'm giving away too much. But uh, I don't ever want to say, you know, what they're doing. Yeah. So we're going to kind of just hang back and see how these guys solve this. Everybody who's watching can see, you know, what the what this thing is supposed to look like. You can see it very clearly in the isometric view. So now it's going to be up to these runners to figure out how to get that geometry in place. And we're going to keep an eye on the chat. Looks like Atze is coming in uh, with a mass. Okay, and Atze coming in with a mass. And his answer there is 63.45 grams. And that is not correct. That is not correct with intolerance. So Atze coming in with an answer, 63.45. That is not correct. Not correct with intolerance. So now... We've got, now we've got a real race on our hands. Yeah. What a strange looking part. Yep, a very strange looking part here. And Dom coming in with an answer, 63.4445 grams. Either way, it's the same answer. 63.45 grams, and that is not correct. Ooh, that is not correct. So interesting, always interesting when both of the runners come in with an answer, and that answer is the same answer, but not correct. Yeah. Now, what this means is whoever answers next is going to be ineligible to earn the point from this match. So whoever answers next is really putting it on the line. So both of our runners are now kind of taking a minute, taking a breath. I'm sure that they are looking, you know, looking back at all their dimensions, looking at the drawing, trying to figure out what's going on here. How did, how did we get this wrong? Yeah. Very interesting that both of them got it wrong. And certainly in the past, if this occurred, I would be saying to myself, did I do something wrong? Did I make the drawing wrong? Mm -hmm. But this time I'm pretty confident. I think I know what's going on here. I see. Aaron C in the chat says, I know how Dom feels right now. Matab says, heart's beating. Yeah. Yeah. This is a good one. This is a really good model. And I'm so glad that the, these guys got it because this is where it's going to be really interesting to see how these guys work through this challenge. You know, this is what it's all about is running into these types of errors, these types of challenges, these type, this type of complicated geometry and being able to figure out how to get, get around it, you know, how to resolve it, how to figure out what you did wrong and how to fix those errors. And I know that both of these guys have a lot of experience in that space of uh you know actually making parts actually making models and this is going to be really interesting to watch here yeah so we see it looks like dom on the left is kind of uh re-examining the geometry there in that hole trying to figure out if uh maybe there was something off with it, it looks like he did a little back engineering there yeah. uh pretty interesting approach there to try to figure out if that was in fact the problem so a little bit of back engineering rambro's workshop yep Ricardo Jean in the chat. I like this conversation in the chat. It's always neat when you see like they both get it wrong and then they're both like it's, it's like they both double check and then they both are also thinking about the other person double checking. Yes. Like even more so than before they get the answers wrong. So it's always neat seeing that. Yeah, I completely agree. And guys, speaking of double checking and answering again, both of our runners have come in with their revised answer. They came in one after the other. Yeah. I'd say coming in with his answer, 63.36 grams. Dom coming in with his answer, 63.40 grams. Guys, the correct answer is 63.36 grams, and Atze is going to win that point. And wow, what a battle. Congratulations to Atze. 63.36 grams is correct. 
And uh, very foretelling there from, well, first of all, congratulations. That was an absolutely epic battle from both of them. Yeah. And uh, and a little bit of uh, foreshadowing there from none other than Aaron C. in the chat. Aaron C. in the chat said, Toby, I really hope you make it so that this drawing cannot be solved with a chamfer. And that was, in fact, the trick. The chamfer is very misleading. You know, the chamfer is, uh, is defined here as kind of a 45 degree off of the inner wall and as a 0 0.927 here from the top. But the problem is that that top wall uh, kind of goes away. It's round to begin with. And when you do a chamfer, that the chamfer is going to be calculating based on that spherical wall as well. So you really have to do it as a cut revolve to get that in there and to get that correct. And I think that's what we saw Atze do when he went back to correct it. But definitely a tricky part. Definitely.